So the Archimedes 2 is actually uh, been born from not the marketplace industry saying, oh, it's time for you to recycle, you've done it two years and let's have a new suit. The Archimedes 2 has come about because, you know, well, how does it come about when you make what we believe to be the best and the most complete wetsuit? How do you make something that good better? And uh, we looked at certain areas and we, we knew we could do some something that just really took it to a new level. So for us, it's taking what's the very best and just taking it up to the new markers and new levels. It's not really a case of reinventing the suit. Why would you? It's, um, it's in a wonderful place. It's been tested for active drag. It's been tested for passive drag. All of this in a true lab. And we've taken the feedback of some of the greatest athletes in the world. You know, when, you, when you're talking to the Brownlee brothers and you talk to them about the, the, the wetsuit, they'll give you good, honest feedback. And it's that that has um, just allowed us to go that little bit better with the Archimedes too. So the bicep and calf releases were both brought to us ideas from Hu Tucson and uh, Paul Newsom. And it was a case of relieving the pressure on the calf and the bicep. And what we wanted to do was take that to a level of flexibility and a modulus number that we have never seen before in our suits. And we have a bigger calf area and a bigger release for that calf. We know that we're the only suit that helps reduce cramping during the swim and um, in transition. But now with that bigger calf release, it feels more natural. And with the lower modulus material on the bicep release, we've kept that fantastic same shape, but we've managed to make it more comfortable and aid that catch and recovery that is so important in an effective stroke. It's amazing what we've achieved with the exoskeleton. Many brands have looked at the suit and just really focused on how can they make this super flexible and spongy. We know that it's all about the modulus of the materials you're dealing with, and we measure that very closely. And with the exoskeleton, it was a case of going stiffer, contrary to what is, is being in the marketplace. And the exoskeleton is a stronger, stiffer material. And what we found is that the more control we can put in around the hips, uh, and the, the thighs is we can reduce the snaking and we can reduce that wasted energy and time lost and, and travel that you don't need during the swim. So we've increased the top portion of the exoskeleton by four centimeters and that area now is a lot more controlling and you can really feel that little bit extra difference that really helps put in control. We put in there a joining bridge as well because we are moving to such extremes of super thin materials around the lats and under the arm that we had to put a bridge in really just to make sure that we have a good strong connection with the exoskeleton. We know that the Archimedes is perhaps the most comfortable and flexible suit on the market today and that's ever been. What we wanted to do was now move to another level and really bring that whole flexible second skin feel to the back, the lats, the side, and also the arms. What we've done is reduce the neoprene down to a mere 1.5 millimeters, and that includes the backing materials. And the whole lat lateral piece of the suit is incredibly flexible. So for that long reach, immediate flexibility, it's been delivered by the Re the readjusting of the neoprenes. And it's not just the overall flexibility. We'd be foolish to talk about a 400% flexibility in our neoprene. What is the point? It's the first 20 to 30% that really matters. And if you have a low modulus, easy stretch within that portion of the neoprene, then you really are improving the whole flexibility, comfort, feel, and performance of the suit. When we first developed the Archimedes, one of the key areas of focus was the comfort of the suit and the neckline. It would have been easy to have copied the industry and done a fold and stitch neckline, but that's the biggest barrier to someone buying the wetsuit. If it's stiff and if it's inflexible, there's that horrible claustrophobic feeling. So we've left it as an open-ended, really comfortable neoprene neckline. And uh, how do you improve on that? One thing we did do was uh, open up the space in between the larger buoyancy panels on the chest and just give them an extra 10% of the really thin flexible material we're using in the neck. That just helps give a more natural chest expansion during the range of the stroke and obviously during breathing. But uh, we're very proud of our neck. It's unique to the industry and we feel it's the most comfortable neck on the market. For us, a feature that is 
something we're very proud to use and, and we will throw that out to the guys at Quintana Roo that originally developed this many many years ago in the Dan Enfield triathlon days and that's the breakaway zipper. For us it's the fastest way to get out of a wetsuit and uh, we kept that into the suit. We, we, we're very proud to, to use that and uh, I don't think there's many companies uh, actually understand why that is, exists and, and the true benefits of getting out of your suit in less than a second uh, and, and disengaging the zip. The breakaway zipper is here to stay, uh, along with the exoskeleton, the calf release and the bicep release that's simply uh, been refined and improved upon. The key with the Archimedes is to make sure that when you're looking at the suit, it doesn't look like something that's completely alien for uh, the, the two versus the one. And we wanted to make sure we, we had a, a connection between the one and the two. So when we looked at the graphics and the overall feel, uh, we, we looked back at uh, the feedback we've had from, from athletes, elites, age groupers and beginners. And one of the things was that they really enjoyed and liked the almost superhero look of the suit. So we, we brought that out a little bit stronger, we tapered out some of the lines. You still know it's an Archimedes, it's when you get a little bit closer you can really see uh, how we just dressed it up a little bit with some of the graphics, but it is the Archimedes as we know it and, uh, and as the company's become famous for. In a triathlon, there's, um, there's three disciplines, but the one that most people don't like is, is the swim. I like to get that done and out of the way, and we feel you know, very honored that a triathlete will buy our suit and trust us to, to deliver speed and comfort through the beginning of what has been hours and hours of training. And, uh, but we feel good with that decision they've made because we've got Hu Tusan, one of the greatest professors of human movement through water. Swim Smooth, they've analyzed more swim styles than any other group on the planet. And we've taken that feedback and put it into the suit. I've worked for many wetsuit companies and seen failings, and now we're putting those right with extra features into the suit that, uh, and buoyancies you know, that we believe should have been there years ago. So for us, there's no reason why you wouldn't choose who.